Welcome back, Stingers. Well, I have an interesting comment <laughs> that was left under one of my videos today. Not very original, but it's interesting nonetheless. And I want you to put your commentary in the comment section of this video. Here we go. I'm an Aries, Sun, Scorpio, Moon with so much Scorpio in my chart. <laughs> I was seeing a Scorpio and I swear he thought we were the same person. And I loved it. I kept saying we were we should be soulmates, and I almost believed him. But I kept thinking maybe I sh he should be with a Scorpio because my Aries side may not be what he needs, um, as I tend to get over things quicker. LMA up. So this person is claiming that they were with the Scorpio. The Scorpio was like, oh my gosh, we're exactly alike. You're so much like a Scorpio. And he starts saying they were soulmates and this, that, and the other. You know, I get comments like this a lot. You know, I have never in my whole entire life um, in astrology confused an Aries for a Scorpio. Not even a riser, not even a mooner. You know, a lot of this stuff, you know, it doesn't, it's not flattering to me. Is, it, is this flattering to any of you Scorpios? You know, it, oh, and this Aries decided, like, Maybe they can't handle me because I'm an Aries. At first you're saying you're so much alike, but then you're admitting that there's that big separation of like, oh, he may not be able to handle my Aries. Like, I thought you were just like. <laughs> so there's always this thing of people with Scorpio placements. They didn't say what they were. They're like, I have a lot of Scorpio placements, which I kind of doubt it. Being an Aries, usually they don't have that many Scorpio placements. Um, it's usually the Libras and the Sag. You know, and if they are other Scorpio placements, they are outer planets like Pluto and Uranus and Neptune, which is generational. So everything you're experiencing, honey, the rest of the people your age are going through the same thing. So it's not a personal planet. Like it's not personal. It's, it's you know, very far away. And so I get this a lot where others trying to prove that there's so much Scorpio and I'm, uh, you know, it's not original, but I'm a little surprised that Aries is doing it, <laughs> you know, um, wanting to be so much like Scorpios when usually they're like, I'm so much more powerful than you, you know, but I, you know, I really implore you guys to find your powers, to be yourselves, to be happy with who you are, to find the, there's so much power in Aries being, you know, that, that courageous, strong, fiery person who's not a scaredy cat, who can stand up for themselves, you know who will, will always leap and, and do what they do, who get over things very quickly, who can move on, who doesn't hold any grudges, who, who uh, you know, is cardinal, who ignites passion in other people, who gets things done, who is not lazy. Like, look at all these qualities you have. Why on earth are you trying so bad to be a Scorpio or be like a Scorpio or be, or, be be fooled into someone thinking you're a Scorpio like what are you doing <laughs> this is this is so silly and many of you guys are doing this and I want you to catch yourself in conversations when you're like I have a Scorpio moon I'm so Scorpio or I have this or I'm so this you know it's like be yourself find find the beauty in who you are find the beauty in your own zodiac sign it's great to admire someone for qualities we all admire um little bits of qualities and other people like I don't want to be an Aries I don't care you know what I mean I, I don't care about being first I don't care about you know being totally fearless I like a little fear it drives me you know um I don't want to be masculine I you know I don't care I really don't care you know and um I don't want to look like somebody else I've never wanted to look like somebody else I never wanted anyone else's face I never was jealous of anybody's features I like my own like I've never had that. I've always had my individuality, you know, and uh, the combination that I have in my chart, I dissected it and I find the powers and I use them to my advantage and I implore you guys to do the same. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at scorpiosunscorpiomoon.com where you can get my audio and paperback books, which are all 30% off right now by using the code, um, book sale <laughs> i just had to think about it by using the code book sale like subscribe share and all that good stuff i'll see you at scorpionsunscorpionwoman.com where take four 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at Scorpius on ScorpioMoon.com where you can book my audio. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? All right, take five. Still rolling. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at Scorpius on ScorpioMoon.com where you can buy my paperback and my audio books. And right now, you get 30% off by using the code BOOKSALE at checkout. You can book a master chart reading with me, a transformation course reading with me, or a one-on-one -on -one personal live stream session. I'm also open to forensic cases, and um, that's it. I'll see you soon. Mwah.